We'll take questions for Coach. First one right here and the second row on the right. Hey, Willie, uh, you, and, you and LeBron, rookie years, the, the same year. How crazy is it to just see him continue to do this in year 21? Uh, <clears throat> it's incredible what he's doing um, right now. You know, I'm 42, so he can't be too, too far behind me um, to be playing at such a high level. At, is this 20, 22 years or 21 years? So playing at such a high level, 21 years in the NBA, uh, his impact on the game, on the, the, the younger generation has been incredible. And it's, it's amazing to see. You, do you remember any details or anything from that game? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't remember too many details of, of, of our 10th. You say my 10th game, rookie, yeah. my rookie season? Yep. Nah, no, I don't. Next question over here on the left yeah. side in the front. Two. Coach, what are your thoughts on just the environment here, playing these games in Las Vegas in this city, in this environment? Um, the games, are, they, they've, they've been a lot of fun. Um, I think the, the NBA has done a great job of providing a platform that allows high, competitive, meaningful games during the regular season. And all of our guys, uh, I think all of us, we didn't know what to expect, uh, to be honest with you. But now that we're in it and we feel it, the games have been much more competitive. Uh, teams are getting up for them. And uh, to have an opportunity to be here in Vegas for the final four of the in-season tournament is a great experience for, for our young group. Standing in the back left. <clears throat> Hi, Coach. Uh, last time you were involved uh, fighting for a title was with the Suns in the finals 2021. Mm. What did you learn of that experience and what can you apply right now about the routine, about the group for this title? The biggest thing going through those type of experiences is, is the journey, is what it takes to get there. Um, all of the film work, the player development time, the practice time, the team dinners on the road, uh, working with the performance staff, doing all the little things and, and building the relationships and camaraderie with your teammates, coaches, front office, and um, it makes you stronger. And for, so for us, we're, start, we're having some of those experiences right now during the regular season, and we're hopeful that that pays off down the stretch for us uh, this year. Tim, here on the right. Willie, now that you've been through the group stage at an elimination game and you've gotten here, I'm just curious, what are some things you could maybe see the league doing to improve this event for next year, whether it's about the schedule or the courts or the point differential stuff or just anything else you've thought about as you've gone through it that could be ways to make this a little better when it comes back next year? Well, our, our mentality right now is we're, rel we're relishing in the, posit the positive that they already done. And um, before we can even get to improvements, we want to digest what we are experiencing. It's hard to digest it right now because we're in it. I think once we finish the season, we sit back and reevaluate, we'll probably have, you know, maybe a couple things that will pop in our minds about what we can improve. But right now, we're relishing this opportunity. It it's been fantastic. Um, we're so excited to have this opportunity, and so we look forward to tomorrow night's game. As a guy who's obviously been around the league for a long time, it, it seems like this thing has picked up a lot of momentum within the league faster than maybe anybody would have guessed. Has that been the case for you, and why do you think that's been the case? It's definitely been the case for, for, for myself and our team. You know, a lot of hard work goes into providing this type of platform, and um, I'm grateful for the hearts and the minds that it takes to be willing to make some changes. Uh, that's what it's about. That's what the NBA is about, and, and we're grateful to, to be a team that's uh, a part of this. Front row on your left. Um, hey, Coach, I feel like you guys are a very scary team because, one, you guys are just now starting to get healthy. Trey Murphy's getting rolling. Herb Jones is really starting to get rolling offensively, too, as well. And then, two, you know, I just wanted to ask you about, you know, that team, about your guys' team coming together and now, you know, being healthy. But also, I've been talking to a lot of coaches. They bring you up as a as a coach that, you know, draws up a lot of good sets, circle pins. A lot of people tell me to watch, you know, your sets that you run. You being a former player, where did you get that from, you know, in terms of being able to draw up good sets and people watching your, you know, your work and you as a head coach drawing up good plays and actions too as well? 
Yeah, for sure. To, to answer the first part of, of the question, um, we're, we're capable right now. And, um, you know, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We know that there's a ton of work that goes into being a really good team in the NBA and, and being consistent and winning consistently. Uh, so th those are the things that we're working on. As far as, as the plays, is, um, I have a lot of help. I have an amazing coaching staff, and I watch uh, a ton of NBA games as a coach, but also as a fan, and I steal stuff from every coach. So a lot of times it's their plays that they're, they're praising me about. Um, but we do it together, and, and that's our mentality. We continue to work as a coaching staff, see who we have on the floor, and try to put our, our players in the best possible position to get a quality shot. For like Zion, like we don't really typically see that, you know, trying to get him downhill. Like you do certain things, like you take that. Do you take that from seeing others, or do you kind of like, you know, see someone someone else does, and then say, you know what, I can incorporate my own way to it too as well. A lot of it has to do with um, the different characteristics of our players, uh, and so we tailor uh, most of our ATOs around who they are and and how we can get them the best quality shot, for sure. Joe, here in the front. Do you think that the IST will become an accolade that helps define a player's personal success or, you know, a franchise and when they start looking at, like, well, this is what the franchise has accomplished over its years? I, I think it's going to be added to what's already here. Um, obviously, we have all-star game, all-NBA, uh, playoff experiences, finals. I think this is going to be another component to – uh, what makes players great in the NBA. And, and we can already see how competitive it is, how seriously all of our players and, and organizations have, have taken it. And I think it's going to continue to trend up. Any other questions for Coach? Last one, Christian, right here in the front. It's a, you know, a, a drive, a short drive here from L.A. Uh, just what are you expecting this environment to be, to be like in here um, tomorrow night? Um, based on w what we see during summer league, this is going to be a home game for the Lakers. Um, <laughs> they they have a ton of fan support here. It's going to be a fun game. We're all excited about it. I'm sure they are too. Um, it seems like NBA fans are excited. They're watching. They're tuning in. I'm getting text messages from people. Uh, you know, let's 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 get after it. Joe's got a quick follow up. Yeah. Um, if the Pelicans win this whole thing, would you? want there to be a banner in New Orleans? Absolutely. Cool. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.